Spiritual warfare is an essential aspect of the Christian faith, wherein believers engage in fervent prayers to counter the attacks of the enemy. Psalm 91 verses 5 to 6 says, You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Witches and wizards in the spiritual sense represent those who oppose the will of God and seek to manipulate, harm or control others through dark powers. Witches and wizards often operate under the cover of darkness, attempting to bring fear and terror into the lives of believers through night terrors and spiritual attacks. But the Lord our God is a light in the darkness, and His presence drives away all fear. The Bible, particularly the Psalms, provides believers with a wealth of resources to confront these forces with divine authority. This prayer guide, deeply rooted in scripture, serves as a powerful tool to declare God's protection and victory over any witchcraft at work. Do well to subscribe for more prayers, tailored just for you on this channel. Let's pray. Ultimately, the power of witches and wizards spills in comparison to the sovereignty of God. He reigns supreme over all the earth and his will cannot be thwarted. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you the truth of Psalm 103 verse 19. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules all over. In this prayer, we affirm that God is in control of your life and that nothing happens without his permission. Every scheme of witches and wizards is subject to the authority of God and he will use even their evil intentions for your good in Jesus' name. Rest in the knowledge that God's sovereignty is your shield and that his plans for you are good and not for evil. Witches and wizards often work to bind and enslave their victims through spiritual chains and strongholds. But the power of the Lord is mighty to break every chain and tear down every stronghold. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you the liberation promised in Psalm 107 verse 14. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their chains in pieces. In this prayer, I command every chain that witches and wizards have tried to build around you is shattered in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold that they have built around you is turned down by the power of God in Jesus' name. You are free from every bondage, every spell and every curse in Jesus' name. You shall walk in the freedom that Christ has purchased for you with his blood, knowing that no force of darkness can hold you captive in Jesus' name. Witches and wizards often seek to bring injustice and suffering into the lives of God's people. Yet our God is a God of justice, and He will not allow the wicked triumph over the righteous. I declare over you the promise of Psalm 37 verse 28, For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake His saints. They are preserved forever, but the descendants of the wicked shall be cut off. In this prayer, we will call upon the justice of God to be executed swiftly against every witch, wizard, and agent of darkness that seeks to oppress you. The Lord will not allow their injustice to prevail in Jesus' name. He will vindicate you and cut off those who set themselves against you in Jesus' name. The wicked shall be removed and you shall stand as a testament to God's faithfulness and justice in Jesus' name. I declare the promises of God over your life. You stand firm in His protection and victory. Remember the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. That's Hebrews 4 verse 12. And as you declare it, you unleash the power of heaven against the forces of darkness. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Witches and wizards operate within these realms of darkness, seeking to disrupt the plans and purposes of God in our lives. However, I declare over you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. That's Isaiah 54, 17 in Jesus' name. I declare over you the prayers of Psalm 35, for the Lord is your advocate in the face of spiritual warfare. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. That's Psalm 35, verse 1. 
I declare over you that the Lord will take hold of Shoda and Bokva and it will stand up for your help. That's Psalm 35 verse 2 in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will draw out despair and stop those who pursue you. He will say to your soul, I am your salvation. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who seek your life. Let them be ashamed and brought to dishonor in Jesus' name. Let those who seek after your life be ashamed and brought to dishonor. Let those who plot your heart be turned back and brought to confusion in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the angel of the Lord will chase them and their way shall be dark and slippery in Jesus' name. I declare over you that every net that has been secretly set to entrap you shall be broken and the enemy who digs a pit for you shall fall into it themselves. The Lord will rescue you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I declare over you the victorious proclamation of Psalm 68, for the Lord is a mighty warrior. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who also hate him flee from before him. I declare over you that as smoke is driven away, so the Lord will drive away every witch and wizard that rises against you in Jesus' name. I declare over you that as wax melts before the fire, so the wicked will perish at the presence of God in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will arise in your life and his enemies will be scattered in seven directions in Jesus name the Lord will bear your burdens daily and it will be your salvation in Jesus name I declare over you that the Lord will rebuke the beasts of the reeds the heads of bulls and the calves of the people and every spiritual power that seeks to trample you on the foot in Jesus name I declare over you that the Lord will march through the wilderness and bring victory to your life in Jesus name I declare over you the imprecatory power of Psalm 109 for the Lord is just and righteous. Hold not your peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. I declare over you that every lying tongue that rises against you shall be silenced in Jesus' name. The Lord will set a wicked man over those who persecute you, and an accuser will stand at their right hand in Jesus' name. I declare over you that when they are judged, they shall be found guilty and their prayers will become seen. The Lord will cut off their days and their positions will be taken by another in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will remember thy iniquity and not blot out their sins in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will deal with your enemies according to his righteousness and he will deliver you for his name's sake in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will bless you well. Your enemies will be put to shame and they will be clothed with their own confusion. That's Psalm 109 verses 28 to 29 in Jesus' name. I declare over you that the Lord will keep you from the hands of the witches and wizards and preserve you from the violent men who have purposed to make you stumble in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I declare over you the fullness of God's protection, power and peace. No witch, wizard or demonic force can stand against you. For the Lord is with you in Jesus' name. His word is your shield. His blood is your covering. And his angels are your guards in Jesus' name. Walk in the confidence of his victory knowing that you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you. I declare victory over witches and wizards in your life in Jesus' name. Lord God, I claim your promise over the life of your child right now. I acknowledge that you alone are our dwelling place and our refuge. We run to your tabernacle where no evil can overtake us. I pray that you keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us in the shadow of your wings. We take cover under the blood of Jesus and surround ourselves with God's holy angels. We stand our ground as warriors rooted in the truth of Psalm 91. As I pray, the Spirit reminds us of the story of 2 Kings chapter 6. The king of Aram was at war against Israel, but the prophet Elisha would warn the king of Israel whenever the Armenian army planned an ambush. Frustrated at having his plans exposed, the king of Aram sent a mighty army to surround the city and capture Elisha. When Elisha's servants woke up the next morning and saw the enemy forces, he cried out in fear, Oh my Lord, what shall we do? Elisha responded with faith and prayer, saying, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha prayed, Oh Lord, please 
please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. I decree today that just like the Lord sent heavenly armies to surround and protect Elisha from Armenian army, the Lord shall send spiritual forces to surround you today, far mightier than any army arrayed against you. By faith you see angel armies standing guard. You see the very hosts of heaven, the infinite power of God encamping around you. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that your eyes are open and that you do not lose heart. I declare that God's guardian angels stand watch over you in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12 assures us that these heavenly messengers are like personal bodyguards assigned by God to keep us safe in all our ways. I want you to picture this. Just as a loving parent would send someone trustworthy to accompany their child, God sends his angels to be with us every step of the way. These angels are not just ordinary beings, they are God's messengers of love and protection. When we are surrounded by challenges or feel the weight of spiritual battles, these celestial friends are right there ready to shield us from harm. Remember when Daniel found himself in a den filled with hungry lions? God sent his angels to shut the mouth of the lion. Daniel's enemies were shocked. They were in awe that the lion did not hurt Daniel. I declare that at this very moment, your enemies will be shocked in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you in this very moment to reflect on times in your life when you felt surrounded by challenges, yet somehow you emerged unharmed. Those were moments when God's angels were working behind the scenes, guarding you from harm's way. By the power bestowed upon me, I pray that those angels shall continually protect and guide you in Jesus' name. I pray that God protects you against the lies and deceptions of the enemies. I pray that he helps you to walk fearlessly for Christ and defends you against powers wishing to do you harm. I declare that God arms you with his full armor as you wage war against the powers of darkness in prayer. As we continue our warfare prayer, I declare that you step into a powerful declaration of victory through faith in Jesus Christ. I pray that Psalm 91 verse 13 becomes your anthem, proclaiming triumph over challenges and adversities for you like a brave knight overcoming dragons and obstacles in a fairy tale in Jesus' name. In our lives, we encounter giants, challenges, fears, situations that seem insurmountable. Yet, Inspired by the story of David, I decree that you shall be victorious against every Goliath in your life in Jesus' name. Even before the battle begins, God will declare you victorious. Your faith becomes the slingshot that propels you towards victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the realm of spiritual warfare, faith is our shield and sword. Ephesians 6.16 6, encourages us to take up the shield of faith to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Our declaration of victory is not based on our strength alone, but on our unwavering trust in God's power. And therefore, I decree that you will overcome in Jesus' name. Once again, I draw inspiration from another man of God in the Bible. I pray that God gives you the resilient faith of Job in the face of profound challenges. Job's story, marked by unimaginable loss and unwavering trust in God, serves as a beacon of hope. In moments when your faith wavers amid life's storms, seek strength through prayer. I pray that through this prayer, you will find solace knowing that your faith, though tested, can emerge stronger, mirroring the restoration and blessings witnessed in Job's unwavering journey. As we conclude our prayer, I lift you up in gratitude, trusting that the shield of protection we've invoked surrounds you. May God's presence be your constant refuge, and his angels guard you in unseen battles. Draw inspiration from the triumphs of Elisha, Daniel, and David, and find resilience in the faith of Job amid challenges. I declare the Lord most high is your dwelling place of refuge according to verse 9 run into the strong tower of his presence when assailed by adversity worship him as defender and deliverer he orders angels to guard you in all ways lifting you up lest you strike your foot against a stone according to the verses 11 to 12 you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions over all power of the enemy Nothing by enemies shall harm you. I decree supernatural reversal against every weapon and tongue that rises against you in judgment. According to Isaiah 54 verse 7, receive angelic assistance, unlocking divine justice as the table turns against those seeking your demise. Sorcery backfires and curses dissolve, reversing into blessings instead. No enemy can stop God's redemptive purpose and plans for your life. 
I command deliverance from every oppressive stronghold and weight seeking to crush your calling according to Psalm 18 verse 48. Adversity intended to stop destiny dead in its tracks now catapults you higher through the door of overcoming trust birth through struggle receiving supernatural strategies and busts of all the spirits acceleration launching you forward in jesus name i call for ancient paths and kingdom inheritance once blocked to open before you according to isaiah 49 verses 8 and 11 possess the land beloved receive fresh vision strength and second wind to apprehend all oh god as destined as those ahead pull you forward into places of legacy and influence ordained for you before the foundations of the earth beloved child of destiny fresh hope rises today as you choose not to cower under threats of darkness but stand on wavering in confident trust that salvation appears speedily as pressure and warfare aim to wear out our sense the holy spirit remind us confidently that weeping remains only for a night overwhelming joy arrives at dawn's awakening victory stands as shot through faith in christ rejoice i decree angelic assistance released now to enforce and establish protection favor and vindication around the cloak according to psalm 91 and isaiah 54 verse 17. may those with evil intention who hide in darkness trusting their counsel remain concealed now and suddenly stumble into their own pits according to psalm 35 verse 8. I command spirits of chaos, adversity, affliction, destruction, calamity, torment, assailing God's people to involuntarily yield and comply with these decrees now. Reinforced by angel armies, escort all offenders to shield, locks with chains and gags, removing all ability to retaliate or access those hidden in Christ, according to Colossians 2 verse 15. Hold and dismantle all enemy assignments intended to harm you or obstruct kingdom's purpose right now. I call for divine alignment and kingdom connections leading to influence, favor, and resources to advance God's plans through you according to Psalm 31 verse 19. Where there was lack of limited vision in times past, sudden overflow establishes advancement furthering the kingdom in media economy education medicine families and government no longer will the gates of destiny remain shut to those carrying christ's compassion rise up beloved child inherit all god has prepared for you the time is set now i call upon the ancients of days surrounded by flames of holy fire to dispatch assistance enforcing the word decree today let every counter attack of hell yielded to heaven's supreme authority and power enforcing god's will in answer to our prayers no weapon prevails as angel armies war against evil altars erected to assault the innocent Sudden shifts belong to God's faithful ones. Rejoice, the Lord himself fights for you. I command spirits fighting your progress, increase and personal development in your life to live now and never return in Jesus' name. I speak and call forth creative miracles, releasing restoration of relationships, resources, years robbed by the enemies. Receive sevenfold blessing and recompense for all you have endured. Triple crown anointing is upon you. I call forth divine alignment with people, resources, opportunities to launch you rapidly forward towards Isaiah 60 verse 22. Receive supernatural connections and networks, bringing exposure, visibility, influence, and dramatic increase. May those sitting in seats of authority now come alongside you to provide wisdom, revelation, and support. I call you from the shadows into the limelight prepared for you. Take your place, child of destiny. From today, let fresh vision, hope, and perspective arise to recognize that what seeks to intimidate and oppose you can become your greatest advocate and ally when surrendered to the Lord. God specializes in turning curses into blessings and evil makes jealousy and hatred directed towards you erupt into undeserved favor instead. Take heart and stand unwavering with the joyful expectancy that he is faithful to turn evil around for good when you walk in love. Sudden turn around and vindicate 
indications stand ready to be deployed from heaven at the moment appointed trust in his great love for you rejoice the lord himself goes before you to fight on your behalf i decree divine turn around manifest against every weapon trap and accusation of hell coming against you according to isaiah 54 verse 15. sorcery backfires verbal curses dissolve and manipulation is rendered powerless in the face of christ's supreme authority and sacrifice he is for you so none can prevail successfully against you rejoice i command spirits fighting blessings into your life to be bound right now according to psalm 35 i declare their nets becoming their own downfall may angel warriors pursue and scatter these adversaries the lord shall surround you with favor as with a shield so every weapon raised against you be meringued suddenly. No curse or sorcery prevails against God's anointed. I call forth the Psalms 23 and 91 shield, protection and blessing and angelic commission established around the clock over your life right now. I invoke the blood of Jesus sealing coverage according to Psalm 91 and Luke 10 declaring that no plague, trap or demonic exchange can infiltrate the mighty head Christ's sacrifice provides. Triumph, deliverance and blessings manifest against every adversary. Rejoice, the Lord executes vengeance and judgments for you every day against oppression. So you are freed to inherit every promise and prepared for what he has for your life. Beloved child of God, when darkness and giants confront to create fear and intimidation, take heart. Our help and deliverer is just a whisper away as we call upon the name of Jesus who answers Dunami's miracle power according to Psalm 46 verse 1 and Hebrews 13 verse 8. Cling tightly to the unchanging character of Christ. He remains constant through every battle storm. You shall prevail. There is no shadow of variation in him. He who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleep. So rest peacefully in his tender care tonight. Victory stands secure through intimacy and trust in the Almighty. One whose love for you remains unmatched through eternity. Rejoice, my friend. No darkness withstands his marvelous light and triumph. You shall see it manifest suddenly in Jesus' name. I decree angelic assistance, establishing supernatural protection, favor, and recompense around the clock and around every gate of your influence, family, health, finance, ministry, relationships, reputation, according to Psalm 91 and Isaiah 54 verse 17. Raise up ambush reinforcements according to 2 Chronicles 20, so every enemy stumbles suddenly into their own pits. And nets they so craftily laid out in secret, according to Psalm 35 verse 8. No weapon prevails against God's beloved children. I command spirits fighting progress and increase to leave God's child now immediately, according to John chapter 14 verse 21. Receive alignments for rapid advancement and dramatic turnarounds. Powers opposing your calling, I declare their plans unraveled and reversed by the living word of God in Jesus' name. That which sought to stop you dead in your tracks now slingshots you suddenly forward into divine alignment and favor, preparing a way for overflow. I call for angelic harvesters and kingdom finance to sow truth, healing, and the love of God into strategic places of society, media, economy, government, so darkness bows to Christ's marvelous light advancing. I release anointed voices into epicenters of influence, carrying prophetic vision to transform communities. May those bound by deception hear and be set free by God encounters that leaves them changed forever. I pull down ungodly thrones of influence erected through fear, intimidation, and manipulation so that the Prince of Peace may reign. Beloved intercessor, call upon the ancients of days surrounded by flame, holy fire, to dispatch assistance enforcing the word decree today. Let every counter-attack of hell yield to heaven's supreme authority and power, enforcing God's will in answer to your prayers. I decree God's angel armies defend you wherever evil altars are erected to assault you. I seal this prayer by decreeing Isaiah 54's promise over your life, and everything meant to harm you is reversed from today. 
every tongue rising against you falls every sorcery or curse directed towards you now dissolves divine inheritance and vindication belong to you favor and blessing chases you Generational curses are uprooted from your bloodline forever. I pray for their presence to fortify your home, securing its boundaries and protecting its inhabitants. May the angel's presence bring a sense of peace and reassurance, shielding your family from every harm, danger, or negative influences that may attempt to disrupt their well-being. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just as described in Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12, may these angels be here your family in their hands, preventing even the slightest stumble or harm, ensuring their safety as they go about their daily activities, whether within the safety of their dwelling or beyond its borders. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray that your family finds steadfast security in the assurance of angelic protection. May they be enveloped by the presence of heavenly guardians, guiding and preserving their every step within their home and beyond. I declare that each member of your family receives discernment to recognize the divine interventions and find solace in knowing that the angels of the Lord are actively safeguarding their parts. May a profound trust in your promise to protect and uphold them be deeply rooted within your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that your family remains shielded against every scheme and fiery arrow that the enemy Satan may be plotting against them. By the authority of Jesus' holy name, I declare the defeat of every snare set against your family by the enemy. I proclaim a protective barrier surrounding your family and home, shielding them under the Almighty's wings from any attacks by the enemy, familiar spirits, or demonic forces. I pray that the shelter provided by the Most High Father makes it exceedingly difficult, if not impossible, for the enemy and other malevolent entities to track or harm your family and home in the spiritual realm according to psalm 91 verses 2 to 4 i declare about the lord he alone is my refuge my place of safety he is my god and i trust in him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly diseases he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and protection I pray that the enemy will be denied access to everything the Lord has provided for your family. Psalm 91 verse 13 assures us that you will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample on their foot. With the authority bestowed by the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that your family will overcome every lion and adder in their path. In Jesus' name, may they possess the authority and power to conquer any impending dangers or hidden adversities. May they walk with confidence, knowing that through Christ, they can overcome every threat and danger seeking to harm or disrupt their lives. In the precious name of Jesus, may they confront every lurking danger, standing firm in their trust in the Lord's unwavering protection. May they triumph over every obstacle, recognizing that the strength within them is greater than any challenge they may encounter. The scripture in Psalm 91 verse 14 states, Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. I pray that your family clings tightly to the Lord, anchoring themselves in his unchanging love and faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a profound and intimate connection between your family and the Father. May their hearts be intertwined with the Lord, fostering a bond of love that draws them closer to his protective embrace. I declare in the name of Jesus that their love for the Lord is strengthened, enabling them to seek refuge and find security in his presence. May your family members deepen their knowledge of the Lord, growing in trust in his faithfulness and his promise to keep them safe in every circumstance. I ask for his hand of deliverance over your family. I decree in the name of Jesus that they are protected from all harm, calamity and danger that may seek to harm them. 
They are surrounded by the presence of the Lord, guiding their steps and preserving their well-being. Psalm 91 verse 15 assures us, He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I affirm that as your family calls upon the Lord, he will indeed respond. I pray that his ears will be attentive to their pleas and his heart is open to their requests. May their prayers ascend to his throne and may his answers overflow into their lives in the name of Jesus. I proclaim that in times of trouble, the Lord stands with your family. In the midst of challenges, difficulties, or moments of distress, His presence surrounds them like a shield. May they sense His comforting presence, knowing that they are never alone in their trials. May the Lord's favor rest upon them, dignifying and elevating every aspect of their lives. May His honor bring distinction, protection, and provision, marking them as recipients of His divine grace. I declare that as your family entrusts their lives into the hands of the Lord, they will experience His unwavering faithfulness, His timely responses, and His glorious honor poured out upon them in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 16 promises, With a long life, I will satisfy Him and show Him my salvation. Amidst spiritual battles and challenges, I lift your family before the throne of grace. I declare the words of Psalm 19 verse 16 over their lives, invoking divine protection, longevity, and salvation in every aspect. I decree that long life and satisfaction rest upon your family. I proclaim that they are granted a life filled with goodness, purpose and fulfillment of the Lord. May they experience abundant blessings in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your family is enveloped in the salvation of the Lord. His deliverance shields them from the snares, traps and assaults of the enemy. The assurance of his salvation grants them victory in every battle. I declare divine satisfaction over your family. All their needs are met satisfying their souls with the law of peace and joy of the Father. May they find contentment and fulfillment in His presence, regardless of their circumstances. In Jesus' name I've prayed. O oh, gracious Father, as Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3 assures us that you are a fortress, a refuge, and an ever-present help in times of trouble for your children, I offer gratitude for your presence as a refuge and strength, a constant support in times of their need. I proclaim triumph over every adversary, harassing your children knowing that you, their father, are with them and you are mighty to deliver. In the face of challenges and opposition, may you find rest in God's promises, for He is your stronghold, offering comfort and assurance of His nearness, guiding you with steadfast love and grace. I decree victory over every foe that dares to threaten you, for God is your shield and rescuer, with God by your side. May you face no fear, for his presence is ever with you. According to Psalm 46 verse 10, Be still and know that I am God. I declare that even in the midst of storms and the shaking of the earth, may you remain steadfast in God's promises, assured of his control over all things. May you place your trust in his enduring love and sovereignty, knowing that he will always be by your side, with hearts brimming with faith and thanksgiving. I raise my voice in praise, proclaiming triumph over every obstacle in your path. Despite the fierceness of the battle, I declare that you are more than victorious through the love of Christ. I declare victory in Jesus' name, for he has conquered the world. Through his blood you are redeemed, and by his grace you are strengthened in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against you will succeed, as God is your protector and your shield. I praise God for the victory that is already yours. May the Lord assist you in walking with faith and obedience, relying on His steadfast love and provision. May the Lord empower you to remain steadfast in adversity, understanding that He fights your battles on your behalf. 
as you reflect on God's word and seek his presence, may the Lord rejuvenate your strength and revitalize your spirit in Jesus' name. May God lead you forward, guiding you along righteous paths for his glory. I declare triumph over every foe, assured that nothing can separate you from God's love. I pray that you come to full acknowledgement of the Lord as your rock, fortress, and deliverer. May you draw strength and shelter from God as you confront the challenges and adversities that surround you. In Psalm 46 verse 3, the promise is clear that the Lord will be your constant help. He is your stronghold, providing safety in the midst of the storm. May the presence of God bring peace to your troubled soul, enveloping you with his protective love. I bring you before the throne of grace that you may receive the mercies of the Lord as you encounter challenges and obstacles. May you draw comfort and strength from the presence of the Almighty. With God on your side, may you face every trial without fear. Even if the enemy rises against you, may you be rooted in the truth of the Father. May the Lord empower you to stand firm in the face of adversity. In Jesus' name, may the Lord grant your family the strength to navigate the complexities of family life, finding purpose and assurance in their identity as children of God in Jesus' name. I pray for unity and harmony within your family, strengthening the bonds of love between each member in Jesus' name. May grace, understanding, and forgiveness characterize their interactions, fostering an environment of mutual respect and support. I declare victory over every challenge that arises as you and your family stand firm in your commitments to each other in the name of Jesus. May God empower you to walk in faith and obedience, trusting in his love and provision. With your enemies defeated and your victory secure, may you continue to walk in the path of righteousness, knowing that the Lord, your God, goes before you. May his presence surround you like a shield, protecting you from every danger and threat. In Jesus' name, let his peace reign in your heart, keeping you safe and secure in his love. With confidence and assurance, I pronounce your victory over every situation that seeks to swallow you up. May your joy be filled with knowing that the Lord your God is fighting your battles on your behalf. Though the enemy may plot and scheme against you, the Lord will frustrate their plans and bring them to nothing in Jesus' name. I declare victory over every enemy and adversary that may rise against you by the power of his blood and the authority of his name. May you walk in victory and freedom now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, I pray for relief from the hands of your oppressors. May the Lord deliver you from their schemes and machinations. May he shield you from their cruelty and malice. Let his light shine forth in the darkness, exposing the deeds of the wicked and bringing them to justice in Jesus' name. I also pray for the oppressors themselves. May the Lord soften their hearts and bring them to repentance. May he show them the error of their ways, that they may turn from their wickedness and seek his forgiveness. For he is a God of mercy and grace, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. In the midst of your suffering, may the Holy Spirit help you to find refuge in God's presence. Let his peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you the courage to persevere knowing that he is your strength and your salvation oh gracious and merciful god hear the cry of your servant who stands before you in distress and anguish may you draw near to god in his presence may you find solace and strength may the lord remind you of his sovereignty and his righteous judgment and may you realize that the prosperity of the wicked is but a fleeting illusion May the good Lord forgive you for your doubts and your unwavering faith, forgiving you for allowing the actions of the wicked to shake your trust in his goodness and his justice. May he help you to fix your eyes upon God, the author and perfecter of your faith, and to trust in his unfailing love and righteousness. 
May the Lord grant you the wisdom and discernment to see beyond the outward appearances of prosperity and power. May the Lord help you to recognize that true wealth and blessing comes from knowing and walking in His ways, not from the treasures of this world. May the Lord strengthen you to withstand the assault of the enemy and the schemes of the oppressors. May the Lord protect you from their lies and deceitful tongues. May the Lord shield you with his mighty hand. And may the Lord lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. May the Lord incline his ear to your cry and come swiftly to your aid. May he deliver you from the hands of those who seek to harm you. And let the Lord's justice prevail over all the earth. May the oppressors be brought low and may their plans be thwarted by God's sovereign power. May you place your trust in God, your refuge and your strength. Though the storms of life may rage around you, you will not be shaken for God is always with you. May the truths revealed in Psalm 73 renew your spirits and empower you to persevere in faith, knowing that God is faithful to deliver us from the hands of your oppressors. As we lift our voices in prayer, may the cry of your hearts echo the psalmist's declaration. In the midst of your struggles, may God grant you the wisdom to discern the fleeting nature of earthly success and the enduring value of his presence in your life. May the Holy Spirit teach you to trust in God's righteous judgment. As I plead for relief from your oppressors, I acknowledge God's need for his guidance and strength. May the Lord lead you along paths of righteousness and grant you the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray against every form of trouble or adversity that may try to infiltrate your life in Jesus' name. The Word of God assures us that the Father is always present, ready to lend a hand in times of need. May you sense the reassuring presence of the Father in every situation, understanding that He is continuously with you, providing strength and direction. May the Lord protect you from harm, danger, and any plots of the enemy aimed at derailing your journey. I reject every scheme intended to cause you distress or harm. I affirm the Father Father's protective hand to guard you. I entrust your welfare to the Father. I speak resilience and fortitude into your life, enabling you to comfort challenges with bravery. May you seek shelter in the presence and find assurance in the word of the Father. I speak peace into your life. In moments of chaos or unrest, May you consistently encounter a peace that transcends all understanding. May you remain steadfast in your faith, recognizing that the Lord is sovereign, always present, and in control of every circumstance. I declare that fear has no place to reside because scripture assures us of the Lord's perpetual presence with us in the name of Jesus. Just as the river nourishes and brings joy to a city, as depicted in Psalm 46 verse 4, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God and the holy habitation of the Most High. I pray that the presence of the Lord brings refreshment and joy into your life. May you experience the abundance of God's provision and the delight that arises from dwelling in His holy presence. I oppose every influence of darkness or negativity that attempts to steal your joy, peace or contentment. I affirm that the presence of the Father saturates your life, dispelling every fear. I pray for divine protection over your life relying on psalms 91 verse 4 he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart i assert that you are shielded from all harm or danger I reject every tactic of the enemy designed to bring distress into your life declaring that the presence of the lord brings peace and security Stated in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. I declare divine provision and sustenance in your life. Just as a river nourishes a city, as described in Psalms 46 verse 4, I pray that your needs are abundantly met according to God's glorious riches. May you experience provision in finances, relationships, 
health and every aspect of your life. I affirm Psalms 46 verse 5 as a promise of peace and stability over your life. God is in that city. It cannot fall. God will help it at the break of dawn. You will dwell securely in his presence, unaffected by life's storms. For you have the assurance that the presence of the Lord is a strong tower and a refuge. The presence of God brings stability and authority, as expressed in 2 Samuel 22 verse 32. For who is God beside the Lord, and who is a rock besides our God? Therefore, I declare that no scheme of the enemy can prevail against you. I pray against every spiritual battle waged against you. The scripture in Psalm 46 verse 7 affirms that the Lord of hosts is with us, declaring that the Lord is present among you. Hence, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I reject every demonic assault, every plot of darkness, and every endeavor to curse harm or confusion in your life. Deuteronomy 4 verses 23 to 24 describes the Lord as a consuming fire. Therefore, I declare that the all-consuming presence of the Lord protects you from every attack of the enemy. You are embraced by the divine love of the Father and every scheme of darkness against you is rendered ineffective in the name of Jesus. The verse from Philippians 2 verse 10 proclaims that the authority of the name of Jesus causes every need to bow in reverence. Everything and everyone will one day submit to this name in the heavenly realm, in the earthly realm, in the demonic realm. I firmly stand on this scripture and declare that every force of darkness, whether seen or unseen, must yield to the authority carried by the name of Jesus. I assert the sovereignty of Christ over every assault or plot against your life. Every demonic influence in your life bows in reverence to the name of Christ. I proclaim that the angels of the Lord surround you, creating an impenetrable barrier against every demonic force. May the power of Christ's blood protect you completely from head to toe. I pray that you encounter the sovereign authority of the Lord, bringing peace and strength in all circumstances. In the name of Jesus, I pray against every conflict targeted at you and your family. I reject every plan of darkness, every assault from the enemy, and every effort to disrupt your peace in alignment with Psalm 46 verse 9, which declares, He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. I affirm the authority of Christ to reign over every aspect of your life. In light of this profound truth, I confidently assert this promise of God's ongoing work and the end of conflict in your life. As the scriptures proclaim that God brings an end to wars, I align you with this truth and reject every strategy of the enemy, every plot of darkness, and every effort to disrupt the peace you have in Christ. I declare the authority of Christ to reign over every conflict and to bring an end to chaos. The word of God also states that God breaks the bow, cuts the spear, and burns the chariot. I declare the dismantling of every weapon formed against you. Psalm 46 verse 10 reminds us, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. Amid life's challenges, may you find solace in the moments of quiet, letting peace surround you. I pray for the strength to release your fears and worries to the Father. In the powerful and comforting name of Jesus, I lift up these prayers. I pray for God's protection and deliverance from every evil scheme and attack of the enemy. I ask that God will expose and dismantle every work of witchcraft and occult and marine spirit that has been set against you. Let God's light shine into the darkness, revealing every hidden plot 
and snare of the enemy and bring it to nothing in the name of Jesus. I pray for the protection of your mind, heart, and spirit against the influence of witchcraft, occult, and marine spirits. May the Holy Spirit guide you with God's truth and fill you with a spirit that you may discern between what is of God and what is of the enemy. May he give you wisdom and discernment to recognize and resist the tactics of the enemy and empower you to stand firm in your faith in Jesus' name. I ask that God will bring judgment upon those who practice witchcraft, engage in occult activities, and consort with marine spirits. Let every evil practitioner be exposed and brought to justice, and let your righteous judgment prevail in every situation. I pray that God will turn the curses of the enemy back upon their own heads and cause their evil intentions to fall upon them. Let every curse spoken against you be nullified and rendered powerless by the blood of Jesus. I humbly come before God, trusting in God's mercy and grace to deliver you from every attack of the enemy. I know that God is faithful to protect and preserve his children. And I thank God for his unfailing love and faithfulness. I declare in faith that you are more than a conqueror. Through him who loves you and may you stand firm on his promises of victory and deliverance. I thank God for he has heard our prayers and fighting on your behalf against the forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, do not keep silent. O oh God of my praise, may you cry out to the Lord with boldness and confidence, knowing that he hears the prayers of his children. Let your voice be lifted up in praise and worship as you declare the greatness and majesty of our almighty God. May you raise up new opportunities and avenues of blessings and may you cause them to walk in victory and freedom. We ask that you provide the needs of my friends, family and may you cause them to walk in abundance and prosperity. May you turn every situation of lack into a situation of testimony of your faithfulness and provision. May you guard their investments and resources and may you cause their labor to bear much fruit. We ask that you would surround my friend and their family with your favor and grace. May you raise up friends and supporters to stand by their side and may you shower them with your blessings and provision. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Dear Lord, we pray for the protection and preservation of my friend's legacy. May you establish their name and reputation for generations to come and may you cause them to walk in honor and dignity. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Heavenly Father, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness to be extended to my friend and their family. May you break every generational cause and stronghold and may you cause them to walk in freedom and victory for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have spoken against me with a lying tongue. I come against every lying tongue and deceitful scheme of the enemy that has been directed against my friend. May you expose the works of darkness and bring light to every hidden plot or plan of the enemy. Let his children be fatherless, his wife a widow. I pray for the protection and provision of your family. May you surround them with your love and care, and may you shield them from every attack of the enemy. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his prayer become sin. I pray for justice and righteousness to prevail in every situation and circumstance. May the Lord judge the wicked and vindicate the righteous. And may the Lord curse every prayer of the enemy to be turned back upon them. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.